How are you? Fine. Sit down, oh. then. I get you the usual, then. Uh, just relax. Yes. What do you have? Salad first, then steak, hot fork cheese, and coffee. Yeah. Here we are. Filthy mongrel, damn you. Has he done anything wrong? He's always in the way. Bless <laughs> him. Come on, you. <laughs> uh. We treat that dog. It's abominable, huh? No. I got some pretty good wine. How about having something to eat with me? Uh, thanks very much. Like I said, there's this dame I know, an old mistress of mine. That man I told you I beat up, he was the dame's brother. Look, I want to be honest with you. I know what the neighbors have been saying about me, that I pimp for a living, but I'm telling you, that's a dirty lie. I work in a warehouse, that's all. Well, anyway, about this dame. I was paying her rent. And added to that, 15 bucks a week for food. A couple of presents now and then. I mean, look, that's plenty for any woman. But Madame said I was stingy. Said she couldn't make out with what I gave her. Look, I says, why don't you work a couple of hours a week, eh? It's about time you help me out a bit. <laughs> Nothing doing, she says. And then I started figuring that something dirty was going on. One day, I found this lottery ticket in her pocketbook. And she wouldn't tell me where she'd gotten the money to buy it, you see. Then, another time, I found a ticket from a pawn shop, proving that she'd hocked two bracelets. You follow me? Who the hell gave her those bracelets? I didn't give her any. It was somebody else. So I kicked her out, after beating her up. I bowled her out good, too. I said all she ever wanted was jumping into the sack, you see. <laughs> <laughs> but that isn't all, Monsieur Marceau. You'll be real sorry someday, I says to her, because with me you never had it so good. Mm. There were times I used to beat her, but to play around, that's all. Hmm. Or she'd complain, scream a bit, then we'd end up in the sack. <laughs> No, thanks. Just a little. <laughs> but I'm through with her now. The bitch has got to be punished. Look, I want some advice about that. Hmm. At first, I thought I'd take her to a hotel, call up the police, and have her arrested as a prostitute. Then I figured I'd call a couple of friends I got in the business. But all they said was, 
Why not mark her up? Hmm. Except it ain't quite what I had in mind, you follow? So I thought I'd find out your opinion about it. Well, I'm not sure, but it's an interesting story. Didn't she lie to me, Merceau? Was I right to think she was cheating on me? Well, I guess it looks that way. Let me tell you what I have in mind. I want to send a letter to this dame. And let her have it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, kind of try and make her feel sorry. When she gets here, I'll take her to bed. I wouldn't want to miss a chance for a good lay, you follow me? But as soon as we finished, I'd throw her out for good and spit in her eye. <laughs> what do you think? Well, that way, I guess you'll get what's coming to her. That's right. The trouble is, I know what I want to tell the bitch, but I'm so lousy at writing letters, you see. So I was hoping you might help me out. Would you mind writing it tonight? Huh? Well, why not? I know you're a real pal. Name's Yasmina. Yasmina Benanteur. Arab girl? Yes. what you want, I will. Huh. Do you love me? Hmm. No, I don't suppose I do. But if you like, we'll get married. Marriage is a serious thing. No. 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 Then she said that I was strange somehow. And that she loved me because I was strange. But that maybe one day she would come to hate me for just that reason. After that, we suddenly felt anxious to get back to my apartment. And to go to bed together. I left the windows open, and it was good to feel the cool night air caressing our bodies. Ah, leave the door open. To let some fresh air in, all right? Sure. Look what I put on. Ah, what'd you get? Ah, perfect. You bastard! You lousy mud! What's that? Oh, that's gone on for eight years. <laughs> the dog has a very bad skin disease. Oh. It's almost bald, and it's all covered with scabs. Oh. And the old man looks exactly like his dog. Oh. <laughs> And what's even funnier, <laughs> the dog has learned to walk just the way the old man does. 